So now let's go back here over to uh, the theme colors. One of the beautiful things about having a website is your color make a lot of difference. People don't understand that there's something called color theory. I've seen so many people create websites with like six or seven different colors. It just doesn't look good. You have to understand color theory. You have to understand um, primary colors and secondary colors and how those work. And by you understanding that, when you're building your website, then you know what colors to use and what part of the website. People don't understand this. But creating a website, there's a psychology to how you build a website. There really is a psychology as to why if you look at some of the most successful websites in the world, right, you would notice that they have a certain color scheme. They have a certain way that things look on certain pages and other pages, it looks completely different. That is because they have people that understand how color schemes work. So you need to understand it, but I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about color schemes right now. So let's keep things simple. So these are all the colors that you can be able to change the primary colors. So you see the warning here is for this one where it says we are uh, making, you can change the colors for that. This is the base color, this is the background color. So if you wanna change the, the base color, you can be able to click, um, choose, and that's going to change, you know, the base default color uh, for whatever template that you're working. You see, now we've changed that to this color. So now the entire website looks like this because we changed this background color, which is the base color. So this is great too if you want to do some type of branding. So let's click on this here. If I want to change this to, let me see, I want to go here. I want to change the base color to something like that. I click choose, I click save. It's going to change that background color. So if you want to do design like an, a, uh, a dark design, right? Let's click on this here and then click on choose. So now we have this dark design. And of course, we can change, you know, the text. You see the text right now. The text is all, you, you can't, it's not visible. So if we want to change that, right? So let's click on the text and we're going to click here to make sure that the text is white and click to save and this is going to the reason this is going to change the text on the base text so let's click the base text there so click that and let's click on save so now there we go so now the base text is showing the base text is showing um white the base text is showing here white so, just have this off. Just scroll down here. So I get questions, people asking Matthew, I wanna create uh, a dark design and I wanna create a light design. Well, this is a great way for you to utilize if you want to build a website that gives people the option to choose between a dark theme and a light theme. You can do that. Now again, the beautiful thing about layout is that you can assign a dark layout to your members and you can assign uh, a white layout to the general public. So if you want that for your members, you have a section of your website where the members can see the dark layout, then this is where you can assign, you can, you can do beautiful things with this. So let's come back here and I'm gonna change the base color. Let's go back to, I'll leave this as black for now, right? I'll leave this as black for now. And let's scroll down here. So let's change the menu colors white. And what else we want to change? So if we come back here and we'll change this color, the background to white, and we'll change the text. Let's just put it in black, choose, and make sure you click on a save and click on a save and then you're back to um, your normal look. So that gives you options to be able to make changes um, to your site. So now let's go over to the palettes. This is where you can change the different shades of your color palettes. As I mentioned before, you have different color palettes and the different shades. I'm not gonna go too much detail into this, but this is where you can change. You can add new color palettes as well.